Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer. Today, we have a new survival scenario. And this is a Game of Thrones-themed survival scenario. So, it's myself and Overkill going against each other. Overkill's playing as the undead hordes of Westeros, and I'm playing as the... Well, they're just going to call them the people that are going to try and save the world. Um, so, obviously, this is Bretonia, using an expanded Bretonian mod. Um, I will leave the... Links in the description for all the mods we're using, but as you can see, they do look rather fancy. So the theme behind this scenario is um, a Westeros army has marched forward past the wall and is going to try and take on the Night King head on. So these are the models that we're representing the White Walkers. So they're not obviously like accurate at all. However, they do have the kind of the glowing weapon. Um, and this would be the Night King. He's actually armoured up now. Kind of scared of the Westerosi coming to get him. But yeah, I thought these units looked pretty cool. I think these are called the Fallen Kings. Yeah, these are the Fallen Kings. Uh, that's Overkill there. And he has a huge horde of almost 6,000 undead against 1,400 of my troops. So I'll just go over what troops I've brought to the battle. So I've got some armoured halberdiers. Now these look very sweet indeed. Although, the face looks a bit strange. But then I guess you could say everyone's face does. Bretonian spearmen here. They look pretty sweet too. In fact, all of these units in the new Bretonian roster look very good. So we've got some Bretonian swordsmen, all armoured basically. Here we have me, Rambler. And then we have the, the King's Guard, which have been added into the unit. So. They do have armour. Obviously, it's not accurate to Game of Thrones. And mixing franchises may not be very popular. But I think, you know, it's a pretty sweet scenario to try and do. We also have some rangers, which are better archers. So there they are. The rangers of Westeros. And then I think I have some more armoured halberdiers. And I think that's it. Oh, at the back, I do also have a cavalier cavalry. So these are the Westerosi knights. That are going to come into play today. He looks very serious. Looks like he's going to cause some hurt. Anywho, let's just see. Oh, I'd also have two trebuchets, and of course, I would tab out because I'm an absolute moron. There we go. So, I believe the undead may be advancing now. They are. So, we're using the Musilion mod again, which changes all of the zombies around. So all the different houses of Westeros are coming to get this force that's going to make it stand today. So, I don't believe the trebuchets are in range yet. But when they do, they're going to unleash a lot of hurt. So, I wasn't entirely confident going into this battle, because I hadn't tested out this mod before, so I didn't actually know how good the new Bretonian units actually are. But, it's going to make for a fun battle nonetheless. I'm not going to tell you which way it's going to go, but it was an absolute nail-biter when myself and Overkill were fighting it. And as you can see, it's, like, it's a pretty long battle for Warhammer. Obviously, we're not in range of each other yet. But if I was the Westerosi army here, just this tiny little force, that's all the men they could muster to go and fight the undead, the White Walkers... And they come in with all of this. It's, it's pretty... Well. I guess kind of accurate. As the... Well, as they would be heavily outnumbered. You've seen the huge numbers that the undead... Well, the White Walkers can bring into battles. If you're up to date with Game of Thrones. If you're not, then I, I won't spoil it. But these are the main... They're the evil people. Apart from the Lannisters. But anyway, here we have... And anyone who killed Ned Stark. But. Oh, yeah, that was a kind of a spoiler. But that was a season one spoiler. So I'm pretty sure everyone knows of the fate of Ned by now. Anyway. Oh, gosh. Spoil. Actually, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry if I've just kind of ruined it for anyone. But here we go. There we go. So. My trebuchets are firing. Down to oh they've only lost they haven't they haven't really lost many men, that's not good. 
But let's see it from the Bretonian perspective here. I mean, the Westerosi perspective. So seeing that huge horde come in, it's it's pretty terrifying, actually. It's just like for the far, like as far as the eye can see. Wow. So, ominous music also playing. They're getting closer and closer. And that's just the zombies. That's not even the skeletons yet. And there's a lot of skeleton warriors. Spooky, spooky skeletons. Okay. That's it, lads. Keep fighting. That's it, lads. So my rangers are now firing. So they're taking more and more fire. But the undead are getting closer and closer. Although we're down... This one unit's taking a lot of damage and they are actually crumbling. There we go. Keep on firing. Keep up the fire, boys. Keep up the fire. But the rangers... I kind of realize they should probably fall back now. But we've got a pretty tight ring here. However... Overkill can just envelop me. It's 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 not going to be an easy battle. As I'm not going against the AI. If I was going against the AI, I could probably get this one done in in half the time. Because you know I'm, I'm, I'm amazing. But Overkill is a very worthy opponent. Rangers are now started to fire once again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so the spearmen are preparing themselves for the onslaught. Take a little cheeky screeny. And in fact, across the battlefield here. Struggling to hold out already. Here we go, though. The halberdiers holding the line bravely. Just seeing them going for the strikes is pretty sweet. Oh, and the skeletons are going in now. Pouring on in. Oh, my gold. So the front lines have engaged. I will take the occasional screeny. Because this is a pretty epic battle. I'll try not to take too many more. So my cavalry's charged out. Slamming on in. So I'm trying to hold this flank as much as possible. So I had to commit the cav. Otherwise it's going to just pour around and envelop me here. I sent another unit of cav in to strike in the zombies there. And I'm also bringing out my reserve unit of Bretonian swordsmen. And that's my reserves. That's all my men committed now. And that's it. I don't have anything else. Uh, my rangers are still firing. I do have that one unit of Bretonian swordsmen that's keeping the occasional skeleton at bay. But I, I'm putting them back for some reason. So, at the minute, battle not not going not going terribly for me. But you know, we are we are routing a few of the units. One guy trying to fend off a couple of skeletons here. Oh, he takes out one. Yes. No, you're going to get sliced in the back, you plonker. You don't want to be a zombie, no. <laughs> so, I'm trying to pull my cavalry back and do cycle charges. So, the trebuchet is still trying to get some fire and hurt onto the enemy here. Wow, this battle just stretches for a long way. 
But this thing, thin line here might struggle to hold soon. There we go, leaping on in. Okay, so I'm going to try and spot the Night King here, because I don't know where they are. So, oh, I've sent in Rambler here, the King of Westeros. Ah. So there we have Overkill holding there. My King's Guard isn't yet committed. And as you can see, they've actually got in amongst my rangers now. My cavalry are still trying to pick off the occasional unit. Charging on in. I'm not sure how many kills they have. 165. All across the board, my units are doing okay. The armoured halberdiers are holding bravely. Over here, we've actually... Ah. So here we have the Fallen Kings. I've sent in the King's Guard as well. I've sent them against Overkill as he's absolutely just devastating. <laughs> devastating my... Well, uh, my formation. I can't get my words out. I haven't had any caffeine this morning. So, if my if my commentary is a bit hammy, that'd be why. So, Bretonian Spearmen being routed from the field. And, as you can see, that opens up a huge gap in my formation. So, they can just kind of pour through here now. And, in fact, this entire flank is at danger of being overwhelmed. This flank has held pretty well. However, here they've broken through. I'm trying to form almost like a last stand up here. Because it's not looking good for me at the minute. Although we have... We've killed holy crumbs. We've killed a huge amount of their troops. But I still have the trebuchets firing. My ranges are up the top. So we do still have a chance of holding here. The Fallen Kings have made their way over here. Armoured Halberdiers still trying to hold. My Cavalry still going in. But we were both finding this battle incredibly atmospheric. We were both having a, a whale of a time. So luckily, and I don't know how, but my trebuchets haven't been attacked yet. And they're still firing bravely. Is that one of my units? Yeah, I have some units that have come back from routing. So I'm just bringing them back onto the hill. Because as you can see, the undead are charging on up here. And they're going to make my trebuchets useless. Armoured halberdiers. We're bringing those back too. So yeah, I'm doing a bit of a last stand. Buffing my troops as much as possible. So I'm just going to take a second to show you the devastation upon the battlefield here. So just the thousands upon thousands of dead that are now dead once again. And new dead from my army. From my army. One more screeny coming in. Warning. Okay. Yeah, this, the string of dead stretches for quite some time. So here we go. Continuing to hold. We're getting our last stand up on the hill. Trebuchets still managing to fire. So good on them. Bretonian spearmen falling back. I should say, I probably will be recording other stuff than Warhammer, uh, in terms of Total War, uh, soon. 
Pig's been a little while since the game has been released, so yeah, I'm going to start releasing additional bits and bobs. Bob. So, there. <laughs> at this point in the battle, I thought I was pretty screwed. The Fallen Kings are fighting against the King's Guard now. And at this stage, it was still a tiny bit in Overkill's favour, despite me actually outnumbering him a smidge. So the skeleton's going on in. I'm trying to get my trebuchet out of there, but it's, it's not really going to work. Rangers need to come back into the battle. Is that the halberdiers? Armoured halberdiers are, are running after getting over 374 kills. So here we have the Night King. Not really sure what he's planning on doing there, but... This is the final battle, the final showdown. Who will decide the fate of Westeros? Yeah, this unit of trebuchet isn't really going to keep firing for much longer. But most of my men are actually huddled around in this little group here, desperately trying to stay alive. And, oh, I do actually have a unit of Bretonian coming back in. But if we lose and the Night King doesn't die, then they can just pretty much raise all of these men again. And they have more men for the army. And we don't want that now, do we? There we go. So somehow my trebuchets are still firing. So, with a minute le with less than a minute to go, my, you know, it's still not, it's still not, it's, it's, it's slowly coming into my favour, because they only have 12 men left now. Um, <laughs> so they only have the Fallen Kings, more Fallen Kings, and Overkill himself. So we're launching ourselves into him. Uh, no, don't you mean for Westeros? You got, you got that wrong there, fella. So everyone's starting to crumble, and I think their Night King is going to be the final man to fall, or undead to fall, against Rambler. So, what? Well, that's a bug, because I won. That's very odd. Um, Not quite sure what to say about that. That must be a little smidgen of a bug, because I definitely won that. So, let's end the replay. Okay, yeah, it's definitely bugged. Uh, as you can see, I got zero kills across the board. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed that scenario. Nevertheless, apart from that little bug at the end, if you did, make sure to leave a like and all that jazz. If you've got any ideas for future scenarios, of course, let me know in the comments below. And yes, Westeros was saved, despite the game telling me it wasn't. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day.